whole life, but you'll meet somebody else. Uh, Jay, stop crying. Uh, say hi to Jay for me. Yeah, that was Jack. Oh, hold on. He wants to talk to you. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Jay! What's going on? Uh, it's our kid brother, Jay. He's 18. He's been going with the same girl since junior high. She just dumped him. Oh, poor thing. Yeah, that's tough. Is he really cute? <laughs> Reflex. <laughs> All right, I handled it. How? Well, I told him no woman is worth crying over. You just burn her pictures, slap on some cologne, hit the dance clubs. What'd he say? He said, let me speak to Charlie. Hi, everybody. Hey, Hi, Lindsay. what have you got there? Not another awful slasher movie. No, this is a really good one. It's considered a classic. Fraternity of Blood. A classic. Lindsay, you disappoint me. Now, Dormitory of Doom, that is a classic. They ruined it when they colorized it. Yeah, they did, didn't they? Yeah. Do you mind if I watch it here? My parents are away. It's no fun screaming in an empty house. Yes, you can watch it here, but only if you watch something else first. What is it? Something Kate and I rented for you. It's full of sex and violence. Is it a Patrick Swayze movie? <laughs> no. It's called West Side Story. It was my favorite movie growing up. Is it a talkie? <laughs> Just have an open mind, Lindsay. All right. I'll have an open mind, but I know I'm not going to like it. Right, Jay. Just try not to think about Ellen. Jay, stop crying, Jay. OK. OK. Good. Right. Take care of yourself. Sheesh. Boy, our poor little brother. Yeah. I never heard him like this. He's whiny, he's depressed, he's full of self-pity. He's really getting on my nerves. So what did you tell him? I invited him out here for three weeks. <laughs> You always wanted to see the Pacific Ocean. Where? Right behind you, that blue thing with all the boats on it. Ellen's eyes were blue. Yeah, well, um, why don't you come in here and sit on the couch? Ellen used to sit on the couch. It's one of the things I loved about her. Exciting and new. Hey, Jay! Jay! Hey, Jay, what's that on your shirt? Oh! Hey, Jay. Come on, man, bring me up to date. How's broadcasting school going, huh? Hey, let me hear that home run call that's gonna make you a famous baseball announcer.
It's going, going, gone. Chills. I got chills. <laughs> you close your eyes, you're at the ballpark. Hey! Hey, hey, hey. he's here. Alex Burton, Kate Griffin, meet our little brother. Hi, I'm Jay. My life is over. Oh, come on, Jay. You can't have that attitude. You're too young. Alex is right. By the time you're our age, ten girls will have dumped you. <laughs> hey, I got an idea. Why don't the three of us go out to the beach, play a little catch, just for old time's sake, huh? That's that's come right. on, Jay, let's go. Let's yeah. have some fun. Yeah. Let's go, 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 go! All right, come on, let's get him to the couch. Yeah, get him to the couch. <laughs> Okay, Jay, keep your head back. It'll uh, stop the bleeding. No, tilt your head forward so the blood don't run down your throat. Charlie, I always tilted my head back. <laughs> yeah, and you always swallowed a lot of blood. Charlie, what are you... <laughs> Guys, I'm bleeding here. <laughs> Jay, the ball was coming right towards your face. <laughs> Why didn't you try to catch it? I don't know. Just didn't seem important at the time. <laughs> uh-huh. Listen, if you guys don't mind, I'd like to be alone for a while. No problem. You stay here and relax, and we'll go, uh... wash the blood off the porch. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. okay. Right. Let's do that. Yeah. Okay. That'd be great. Yeah. Poor Jay. It's tough when somebody dumps you. Yeah, but he'll get over it. You always do. Right. I can't even remember the last guy who dumped me. <laughs> me neither. Stuart Olson. But that was a long time ago. Yeah. November 3rd, 1988. Excuse me. We were going to the movies. He showed up ten minutes early, said he had something to tell me. Um, Alex? Just wanted to be friends. <laughs> friends. I gave that jerk the best six months of my life. Uh, excuse me, I may want to wear that someday. Oh, I'm sorry. What were we talking about? The weather. <laughs> guys, guys, thank you, thank you, thank you. You're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome. For what? West Side Story is the most beautiful movie I have ever seen. Even better than Revenge of the Flesh Eaters? <laughs> Not even close. When Tony and Maria see each other for the first time across that dance floor, oh. it was totally magic. Everything else disappeared. Mm -hmm. It was like they were the only ones in the room. Yeah, like the whole world stopped except for those two. That is my favorite scene. Oh, mine too. Mind if I watch it again? We'll watch it with you. Go set it up. We'll be right in. Lindsay, this is our brother Jay. Jay, Lindsay Bowen. Yeah. Hey. Pleased to, to meet, meet you. you.
for their one week anniversary, Jay gave Lindsay a rose. Oh, Aww. that's so sweet. Yes. Women love getting roses. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I taught him well, didn't I? <laughs> yeah. oh, you did the play by play of a real baseball game? Yeah, fourth graders. You want to take a walk on the beach and listen to it? You mean you brought a tape of the game? No, but I know it by heart. I'll just go get my jacket. Okay, I'm gonna run home and change. I'll miss you. I'll miss you more. <laughs> Jay, you're making me sick. <laughs> Guys. I am so glad you invited your brother out here. Yeah, he's a pretty good kid, huh? Can I tell you something? Sure, Lindsay, what is it? I'm in love. Again? <laughs> no, no, no. This time, it's real. That's what you said about that football player, Mark. Wasn't he the one who used to crush soda cans against his forehead? <laughs> yeah, but once you got past that, he was really shallow. <laughs> But with me and Jay, it's different. There's a place for us. Somewhere. A place for us. Peace and quiet and open air. A place for us. Somewhere. Isn't it peace and quiet and room and air? No, 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 no. It's open air, but it's waits for us somewhere. Oh, no, 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 no. It's space for us somewhere. No, yes. no. Guys, no, wrong. Yes. You are guys, so wrong. guys. Yes. I think you have to have a talk with your brother. What for? We can look up the lyrics. Uh. <laughs> I'm talking about him and Lindsay. This is getting a little too serious. He's going to be leaving in a few days, and someone's going to get hurt. And if it's Lindsay, she's going to drive us nuts. Oh, come on. They're having fun. And if it's Jay, he's going to drive you nuts. We'll talk to him. See you guys. I'll be on the beach with Lindsay. Uh, Jay, can we talk to you for a second? Sure. We'll be in the kitchen. Oh. What's up? Uh, sit down. Sure. Jay, uh... Huh? Uh... <laughs> look, we can see that, um, you're very fond of Lindsay. Fond of her? I cut out my tongue for her. And that could seriously hamper my sports casting career. No, you could probably still get a job on Monday Night Football. Uh, look, Jake, your brother and I have had a lot of experience with women. All right, Jack has had a lot of experience. I've done a lot of reading. In any event, um, you're in dangerous territory. Yeah, in a couple of days, you're going to be going back to Chicago. I mean, sooner or later, you're going to meet another girl. No, I won't. Oh, okay, fine. Uh, but after you're gone, Lindsay's gonna meet another guy. And believe me, this beach is just littered with him. Oh, yeah, it makes me sick. <laughs> and you will just be a memory. I never thought of that. Jay, trust me, long distance relationships just don't work. Thank you, guys. I know what I gotta do. All right, all right. All right. Hey, Charlie, what's on his shirt? This thing? Yeah. Ah! Should we wake Jay up for breakfast? Nah, let him sleep. He had that heavy talk with Lindsay last night. Yeah, hope he let her down easy. You know how emotional women can get. Yeah. Oh, like Jay's the Rock of Gibraltar. <laughs> hey, what's this? Dear Jack and Charlie, I thought about what you guys said, and I realized that a long-distance relationship will never work. All right. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. Hey. yeah. <laughs> so that's why Lindsay and I I have decided to get married. What? <laughs> They're getting married? We'll be tying the knot in Las Vegas and we'll be back Sunday night because Monday morning Lindsay has a Spanish test? <laughs> Thanks again. As usual, you guys were right. Love, Jay and Lindsay Davis. Jay and Lindsay Davis? Oh, my God. We gotta get to Las Vegas. Somebody call the airport! <laughs> Well, 
here we are at the chapel. You know, I always read that Las Vegas was pretty tacky. Guess you can't believe everything you read, huh? <laughs> Welcome to our chapel. Name, please? We're the Davises. Oh, yes. Well, you're up next. We're on deck, honey. You are, like, so clever. <laughs> All right, your turn. And now to perform the ceremony to bring this lovely couple together, the one, the only, the king! Thank you, thank you very much. I stand before you, all should go. Because I know the secret to a good marriage. Don't be cruel and love her tender. And don't you treat him like a hound dog or you know where you'll wind up? Heartbreak Hotel. <laughs> well, since my baby left me, I found a new place to dwell. It's down at the end of Lonely Street. It's Heartbreak Hotel, baby. Heartbreak is so lonely, baby. It's lonely down there, honey. You'll make it so lonely, you could die. This is great to get the show and a wedding. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> if there's anyone here who objects to the marriage of these two people, let them speak now or forever hold their peace. Stop! Oh, my God, it's the king. What are you guys doing here? We have been going from chapel to chapel searching for you. What do you think you're doing? Taking your advice and getting married. Married? I didn't mention marriage. Did you mention marriage? I never mentioned marriage. This is unbelievable. There's never a parent around when I need one. Now, I don't need one, and there's four. Uh, excuse me, could we move this along? My weddings are starting to back up on me. Comb your hair. Now wait a minute. Is there something wrong with my hair? <laughs> Could we just talk to you for a second? Excuse us, please. What do you think you're doing? Jack, he's 18. Let's treat him like an adult. What do you think you're doing? Lindsay, you are only 16 years old. What do you think you're doing? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm getting married. In this tiny little chapel with the plastic cupids and the fake flowers by a guy who thinks he's Elvis? You're just jealous. <laughs> Alex, you talk to her. She can see right through me. <laughs> Lindsay, your wedding day is the most important day of your life. Don't you want to share it with your friends and your parents? Oh, I'd love to share it with my parents. But I'd have to send an invitation to their travel agent. She's the only one who ever seems to know where they are. And then I'd better pick a day that doesn't conflict with something more important on their schedule. Like a big golf tournament or important art gallery opening. Okay. So they're not always there for you. If they were, would you still be marrying Jay? I think so. Don't you think you should be sure? I don't care what you guys say. Lindsay and I love each other and we're getting married. Nice going, Jack. Oh, now it's my fault. Well, you gotta tell Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Lindsay, you ready? Jay, I have to talk to you. What's wrong? Guys? Oh, oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> Jay, you are the most wonderful person I have ever met. But I'm afraid we might be rushing this. Rushing? It's been two weeks. I know, but if we love each other as much as we think, we can wait the two years till I finish high school and you become a sportscaster. I just want to make sure that if we get married, we do it for the right reasons. Great. First Ellen, now you. I feel like I've lost a double header. 
You haven't lost anything. Think of it as a rain delay. You mean there's still a chance for us? Hey, it ain't over till it's over. Well, can we get this show on the road? Sorry, King. We've decided to wait. Well, I, I think I have an opening at 5.30. I think it's gonna be a little later than that. Come on, guys, let's, let's go home. Oh, but, but we got tickets to Legends of Rock and Roll. Yeah, that's a great show. There's a guy in there that does me really good. <laughs> well, we'll be sure to catch that. Hey, look, let me give you one of these cards. I'll give you some free drinks. piece won't fit. Here. Now it does. <laughs> Charlie! Huh? Get away from the window. You're like a mother hen. They were supposed to be back an hour ago. Last time we didn't know where they were, they went to Vegas to get married. Hi, everybody. Oh, you guys back so soon? <laughs> it's my last night, so we went for a walk on the beach. You guys wouldn't be going out tonight, would you? No. Then I guess we'll go for another walk on the beach. Listen, I want to thank you guys for everything. You're not just my friends. You're my family. Oh, come on. Come, come on. Oh. Guys. What? I can't breathe. Oh. <laughs> Bye, you guys. Boy, Jay's a lucky kid. Well, why do you say that? Because he's got you two for brothers. I like the way you watch out for him. Yeah? Well, you two are great with Lindsay. You treat her like she was your sister. Well, it kind of feels like she is our sister. Yeah, we had to do something. I mean, there's no way those two were ready to get married. Boy, this is incredible. A few months ago, we didn't even know each other. Now we've got two kids. Want to go for three? Sunday, Linda Evans returns to television in a tribute to romance. Engaged to be married, she's the last woman you'd expect to be looking for the most romantic man in town. Then she finds the one man who can sweep her off her feet in I'll Take Romance on the ABC Sunday Night Movie. Now stay tuned for 2020.